particle trapped inside a three dimensional box. But before starting with three dimensional box, be sure to watch the video on one dimensional box as it will clear most of your doubts and will help you in understanding three dimensional box very easily. So let's move further. Now consider a motion of a particle of mass m in a 3D potential box which is in rectangular shape. The particle is free to move along x, y and z directions. Suppose this is our box, this is a 3 dimensional box and a particle is trapped inside it. So the particle move along x, y and z directions. Now the distance that it will cover along x axis will be a, along y will be b b and along z will be c. So the region enclosed for motion is given as okay now as we know the potential inside the box is zero that is v of x y z is equal to zero when the when we study inside the box and the potential outside the box is infinity it can be written as v of x y z is equal to infinity outside the box okay now the schrodinger time independent equation is given as minus h cut square upon 2m del square psi is equal to e psi del square psi is equal to e psi into minus 2m upon h cut square okay this can be written as del square psi plus 2m upon h cut square e psi is equal to 0 let's call this as a question 1 now this psi wave function is the product of three wave three functions that is x y and z okay so in terms of ordinary derivative it can be written as y z d square x upon dx square now why this y z is taken out because yz is constant we are derivating with respect to x plus in case of y it will be xz d square y upon dy square plus xy d square z upon dz square plus 2m e upon h cut square x y and z since psi is the product of x y and z equals to 0 okay now divide this whole equation by x y and z if i happen to divide this by x y and z then this y z and y z term will get cancelled and what i am left with is 1 by x so our equation gets modified and it is 1 by x d square x upon dx square plus 1 by y d square y upon dy square plus 1 by z d square z upon dz square plus 2m e upon h cut square is equal to 0. Let's call this as equation 2. This equation 2 gives three independent equation that is of x, y and z and we will write them independently as square x upon dx square plus 2m upon h cut square dx is equal to 0 dx of x this is our equation 3 d square y upon dy square plus 2m upon h cut square dy of y is equal to 0 this is our equation 4 d square z upon dz square plus 2m upon h cut square ez of z is equal to 0 this is our equation 5 now at bound at boundary condition x of 0 equals to 
x of a is equal to 0. Now representing in terms of eigenvalues of energy. See, remember the one day box equation. The, in the equation we got for energy was En is equal to n square pi square h cut square upon 2m a square. When we equated the values of k, we got En is equal to n square pi square h cut square upon 2m a square. This I got from 1d box. Okay. So if I happen to write in term in terms of three axes, so for x it will be ex is equal to pi square h cut square upon 2m a square and x square. Let's call this as equation 6. E of y is equal to pi square h cut square upon 2m and y axis will be b square and y square. For z it will be ez is equal to pi square h cut square upon 2m c square and z square. This is our equation 8. Okay. Next moving further, as we know, x of x, that is x is a function of x, is equal to root 2 upon a sine of nx pi x by a, or x axis. Let's call this as our equation 9. For y, it will be y of y is equal to root 2 by b sine of ny pi y by b z of z is equal to under root of 2 by c sine of nz pi z by c this is equation 11 now the total kinetic energy of a particle is the sum of the kinetic energy along all the directions that is the energy along x y and z direction so I can write the total energy as E is equal to sum of EX, EY and EZ. Okay, let's call this as equation 12. Now the equation can be summed up as these equations of energy we had already. This can be summed up as E is equal to taking the common terms out pi square h cut square upon 2m and x square upon a square plus ny square upon b square plus nz square upon c square okay call this as equation 13 now as you know we are dealing with three dimensional box let's assume that all the sides are equal that is a is equal to B is equal to C and that is equal to L. So in place of A square, B square and C square, I can write L square. The value of energy will then be E is equal to pi square h cut square upon 2m L square into nx square plus ny square plus nz square. This is the energy of the particle trapped inside the three dimensional box now what if i want to write the equation in terms of wave function psi for psi we had this equations these were the equations related to psi so we'll be summing up these equations and we'll get psi is equal to under root of 8 upon a b c sine of nx pi x by a into sine of ny pi y by b into sine of nz pi z by c. Okay. The value of wave function outside the box is 0 and the energy states can be given as C here. Now focus on this equation. E is equal to pi square h cut square upon 2m l square into nx square plus ny square plus nz square. So for the ground state, 
our n is going to be 1 okay so in place of n I'm going to write 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 so our energy will be 3 pi square h cut square upon 2 m l square this is our ground state energy now moving to the second state that is at n is equal to 2 what will have 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 so e 1 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 1 will be 6 pi square h cut square upon 2 m l square this is our this is ground state this is first excited state now moving to the second excited state n will be equal to 3 and it will be a is equal to 2 1 2 1 2 2 2 2 1 that is 9 pi square which cut square upon 2 m l square okay so the key thing that you need to remember is the energy is given by e is equal to pi square h cut square upon 2 m l square and x square plus n y square plus n z square and depending upon the state where you are in that is whether you are in ground state or first, first excited state or second excited state or any state you can calculate the value of the energy okay the con let's write them the conclusions the first conclusion is nx, ny and nz are integers called as quantum numbers. They are used to describe position of each stationary state. The value of quantum number can't be zero. The second conclusion is nx is equal to ny is equal to nz is equal to 1 is for ground state and for ground state energy is given as 3 pi square h cut square upon 2 m l square. Third is it shows presence of non-degenerate and degenerate energy, energy level shows presence of non degenerate and degenerate energy levels thank you so much for watching